Hey, hey, ladies, welcome, welcome. I'm empowerment specialist Natasha and Mackey. I hope you guys are excited. This is a wonderful opportunity, the Women on Fire Conference. We are getting you guys stirred up, ready to go forth, do great things in 2021. You might have been feeling a little in a slump or on the back burner, but we're going forth, taking over the kingdom. All right. So rock a little bit, shake yourself. All right, I've got a lot of good information I want to share with you today. As I give a shout out to these organizers of this wonderful conference, uh, to the Women on Fire organizers, I want to thank you so much for putting this together, and I want to thank, I want to say thanks to each of you ladies for uh, showing up and being here and seeking out the information so that you can do better and be better. So. If you are ready to jump in, I want you in the chat box, go ahead and type in there, I'm ready, I'm ready. Woot, woot, let's move forward in 2021. There's some great things in store. So I'm recognized by many as an empowerment specialist and I've served many people over the last 25 years in ministry, just walking alongside them, showing them how to be the best version of themselves, live an authentic life. Of course, life happens, hills, valleys, ups and downs, zigzags, turns, curves, U-turns. And so I've been able to walk alongside thousands of people as they're making those different transitions, offering advice and counsel as they've gone through. And so, of course, I'm honored by that. But what most people don't know is that I've struggled with my own issues and feelings of abandonment, rejection, uh, even health and physical challenges, uh, dealing with suicidal thoughts and breaking out of the cycle of deep depression. You know, those have been some real struggles in my own life, but I've overcome some difficult things and I came out on the other side successfully. And so today I just wanna give you the benefit of the things that I've learned. And so I'm gonna show you a couple of different things, all right? I've got my note cards handy. So I'm just gonna, I should do like some speakers, just kind of throw them up as you read through them. <laughs> but here are the takeaways. Hopefully you saw some of the, um, you know, what this conference is about and this specifically this session, what it's about. And so these are the takeaways from this session. Discovering the number one way to refocus your life and achieve any goal you set. That's one of the things we're gonna cover today. Uh, how to eliminate the struggle, depressing thoughts and bad habits that keep you stuck. And then finding that sense of accomplishment, that feeling of self-worth and achievement so that you are living a life that's meaningful and that energizes you. So here are the specifics. This is where we're going. Number one, we're gonna talk about how to break out of denial. And recognize that you need help. The second thing we're gonna talk about is how to change your mindset. So I hope you guys are kind of tracking with me and you brought your pen and paper to the session so you can take some notes. The third thing we're gonna talk about is how to live smack dab in the middle of your destiny. So I'm gonna share my screen right here. I did put some PowerPoint slides together. I want to show you some great things. Uh, so you'll have some visuals and what we got going on. But this session is from pain to purpose. You might have been through some brokenness, some devastation, some losses. You might have been beat down and laid on the mat, kind of down and out for the count. But guess what? In 2021, it's time to move forward. And we're going to come forth strong and full of vigor, full of energy for 2021. As I was saying that, the visual that came to mind, I don't know if you guys saw the fight, but I did see Nate Robinson. I tell you what, he hit that mat pretty hard, but he got back up, right? All right. Les Brown says, if you do fall down, and try to land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. All right, so we're going to be talking about your purpose, your direction, finding that God-given design and fit for your life. And so before we get started, I want you to pull out your cell phones, okay? Grab your smartphone, the smarter than you phone for some of you. Grab that smartphone. I want you to send a text. You're going to dial in there. You're going to text the number 33777. So type that in there and you are going to text the words new you, N-E-W letter U, new you. All right, I'm going to take a moment, let you do that because I've got some free bonuses and some good gifts that I want to give you at, for attending this session. So this is my give back and my thanks to you. So make sure you type in your chat in your message box. You're going to send a text to 33 
777, so type that in there. And your text is simply going to say, new you, 2021. We want to see the new version of who God has designed you to be. All right, you guys ready to jump in? Okay, now you are in the right session. If you want to avoid becoming a bitter old woman, see this lady on the slide there? You don't want that showing up on your face, the frustration, the pain, the anger that you've lived through and the things that you've walked through. You don't want to be a bitter old woman, then you're in the right session. If you want to break out of that comparison game where you're always looking around, oh, is she dressing better than me? Does she look better than me? And work, work on your own level of confidence and be able to walk in your own level of confidence, then you, my friend, are in the right place. Now, if you are ready to get focused and stay focused, I'm telling you, you're in the right session today. Are you ready, ladies? We're going forward. It's 2021. So if you didn't get to type it before, type in that chat box. I'm ready. Put all those exclamation points, put some emojis, put some hearts in there. I'm ready, ready, ready. All right, now I only have 30 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna unpack for you how to move from pain to purpose, but this is not nearly enough time to share absolutely everything I've learned about how to transform your life and be who God has called you to be, but I'm gonna make you a promise, okay? By the end of the session, I'll make sure you get more information on everything that we're covering today. Anything that we miss out on, I'm gonna give you in this session, the most valuable keys to at least help you get started, okay? So I'm gonna give you the three most important things that you can do starting right now, today, to start your transformation process. All right, hope you've got that pen and paper handy. So here is a research fact. Only 8% of people actually achieve their goals. All right, I'm pausing because I want you to let that sink in. Only 8% of people? So maybe last year you started strong, you had all of these ideas, goals, resolutions that you had set, and you were going to be part of that 8%. You had every intention of achieving all of your goals, but you ended up in the 92%. Where well, you can make a choice, you can make a change and do something different in 2021. So even today, right now in this moment, are you gonna be part of the 8%? or will you be part of the 92%? I'm telling you, I'm working on that 8%. I want to see everything on my vision board get checked off this year. Last year was a great year, believe it or not. I got everything done that was on my vision board. So let's do the same this year. Be part of the 8%. Let's just make that part of our mantra. I am going to be part of the 8% that accomplishes their goals in 2021. All right, add that to your to-do list. Okay, so moving forward, let's get started. You ready? Key number one, here we go. First key is you gotta recognize that you need help. A lot of people are walking around in denial. They're just like head in the cloud, head in the sand. You know, they're going through their situations, they're going through life's ups and downs and they have no clue whether it's on purpose, you know, maybe it's easier to live in denial. I mean, you don't have to take any responsibility. You can take a victim mentality and just blame everybody else. It's not my fault. But if you take a moment, take an inventory of your life and you stop and you look back and you start seeing, mm, I've got broken relationship here. I've been a failure in business. I haven't been able to be successful there. You know, my parenting skills aren't the best. And look at, you know, what's happening with my children. Maybe there's something that I could do better. We have to take a moment to self-reflect. What is it that I'm missing? Maybe it's not everybody else. Maybe there's something in me that needs to be transformed, something that needs to be changed so I can be the best version of myself, be an authentic me, be the person that God has designed me to be. And so some people, you know, one of the statistics is at the beginning of the year, gym memberships are up, up, up. Everybody's buying their gym membership because they have an intention that they are going to work out. This is the year I'm going to lose that weight and I'm going to be in the gym every day. But guess what? By February, gym attendance is down. Why is that? 
Well, you know, we all have good intentions, but sometimes we need some accountability partners that are going to push us and encourage us to stay steady, stay the course, move forward. And so that's exactly, you know, one of the things I get to offer. And as I'm living in the middle of my destiny, being able to serve other people and help them to see those blind spots, you know, we all have those blind spots. But we don't want to stay stuck in a victim mentality. We want to take the time to reflect on who we are, break out of that cycle of denial, recognize that we need some help, and go and find that help. Sometimes you're going to have to invest in the help in order to get where you want to be, to reach the goals that you want to achieve. All right, so I'm going to introduce you to one of my clients, also my friend, this beautiful young lady here. This is Miss Mary from Roswell, New Mexico. Now, she was originally born in Nigeria. And uh, her story is really like a Cinderella story. So sh she lost her mom at a really young age. And the family, of course, was in turmoil. She had lots of siblings. And so they got kind of piecemealed out to different family, family members and friends in the community. But the family that she went to, they really begrudgingly took her in. And so she was literally treated like Cinderella, there to cook and clean. And, and that was pretty much it. And so it was a miserable kind of growing up experience. Of course, you know, thoughts that plagued her mind had to do with when I'm older or as she became older, you know, will I die at a young age as a mother? And so she joined the program and she recognized, number one, that she needed help. She used this key. She actually saw the program on uh, accident. You know, she kind of stumbled upon it. And so at that moment, when she saw the information for the program, she had been asking the Lord, I want to have a deeper, more meaningful relationship with the Lord. And I want to, you know, what is it that I can do for my give back, my legacy? You know, she knew that there was more in her life that she could accomplish. And so she stumbled upon the course. And these are her words. The course changed her life. She saw uh, such breakthrough in her parenting. So at this point in life, she has five beautiful young children. And, you know, children are each individual, uniquely made different temperaments. And so, you know, finding that balance, what was it, you know, from her past that was plaguing her dealing with, you know, the loss of her mom at an early age? What were some of the things of, you know, ways that she was treated? Was she re repeating that same cycle? Was she, you know, engaging in those types of parental behaviors? And so even in her marriage relationship, because she found her voice and she was able to stand up and, you know, be more confident, even it revolutionized her marriage because she was able to communicate better with her husband, her needs and desires and wants and, you know, have those types of conversations. But in her own words, she says she's empowered to go forth. She had always had dreams and visions as a young child going into adulthood, but what do you do with that? And so through the course, she was able to learn how to take those dreams and visions, share them with the people that she was dreaming about. And she found how accurate those dreams and visions that the Lord was giving her were and how transformational they were to other people's lives around her. So through that, her breaking out of her, you know, mental limitations, she was able to go forth and be the ministry, be that voice of encouragement and help others find their purpose and destiny as well. So once you begin to be transformed on the inside, guess what? It begins to transform everything around you. And so, Mary went through this program from pain to purpose, 90 days to the new you. And I teach these powerful strategies that will help you to break out of that limiting mindset, break out of denial. Um, Mary recognized that she needed help. And so she got signed up and it revolutionized her life. What an amazing testimony. All right. So that's strategy number one. Are you ready for strategy number two? All right, are you ready? I gotta feel the energy, I gotta feel the excitement. Okay, here we go, strategy number two. You've gotta put on an empowerment mindset. Now, some of you are walking around things that you would never even dream or imagine to say to anybody else. You say them to yourself. You put your own self down. You don't have to wait for anybody else to be negative, but you, you have the script in your mind that is playing and you're speaking these lies over yourself. You know, maybe you picked them up because 
maybe your parents told you these things, or maybe you were in a, a abusive relationship and emotionally abusive or verbally abusive. And, you know, they told you you're stupid. You'll never amount to anything. You're not good enough. And you feel unvalued, unloved. And so you've taken on the script and you've made it a part of your mantra. And when I say mantra, I mean, it's, it's that tape that plays in your head. When no one's around, things are quiet. What are those things that you're saying to yourself? What lies are you believing? Because there's a real enemy out there who's seeking to steal, kill, and destroy you, your family, your destiny, everything that's connected to you.